section 1.6 on function operations and composition of functions. So first we're going to look at operations with functions. So an operation can be adding two functions, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing. And anytime you're doing those functions or those operations with those functions, you're going to use common sense and add like terms, subtract like terms, multiply and divide as you would with any other operation. So let's look at example one. We're going to perform all of these operations on the two functions f and g. So when I do these operations, I'm going to use green for function f and purple for function g. So first, for f plus g of x, we're going to add f of x and g of x. So x squared plus x plus x minus 3. And we're just going to collect any like terms. So this is going to be x squared plus 2x minus 3. And you always want to see if you can simplify as much as possible. For this one, there's nothing else that we could do, so just x squared plus 2x minus 3. Okay, so next for f minus g. So we're going to do x squared plus x minus, and I'm going to put x minus 3 in parentheses this time. When you're doing subtraction, you want to make sure that everything in that second function gets the subtraction symbol, so we're going to distribute the negative. So x squared plus x minus x plus 3. Now when we combine like terms, the x's in the middle are going to cancel out, so I'll be left with x squared plus 3. Next, for f times g of x, we're going to do x squared plus x times x minus 3. We're going to multiply these two binomials by using the FOIL method. So we're going to multiply x squared times x, which is x cubed. Then we're going to multiply x squared times negative 3, which is negative 3x squared. x times x is x squared and x times negative 3, negative 3x. So again, we want to simplify and combine like terms. So I'm going to have x to the third power minus 2x squared minus 3x. Can't combine any other like terms, so that's all for that one. Now we're going to do f divided by g of x. So I'm going to put x squared plus x on the top and x minus 3 on the bottom. So with division, you always want to see if it's possible that you can cancel something on the top and bottom. In order to be able to cancel, we need to have the top completely factored and the bottom completely factored. Well, on the top, I see that both of these terms have an x in common. So if I factor an x out of the top, I'll be left with x times x plus 1. The bottom doesn't have any terms in common, so it's just x minus 3. Now I would look to see if I have anything that is exactly the same on the top and bottom. So I could only cancel the x that's in front of the parentheses if there was another x on the bottom in front of the parentheses. Or if there was an x plus 1 and x plus 1. x minus 3, x minus 3. It would have to be the exact same term on top and bottom to be able to cancel. Since none of these cancel, we're just going to go back to the previous form and say that is our answer. If anything canceled, we would use the simplified version. So the next type of um, operation with function is a composition of functions, and that's when you're substituting one function into another. So a lot of times it looks like the word fog, F of G, or F O G, and sometimes we the word, see the word goth, G of F, or G O F, and that's just a function within a function. So for f of g, that means we're going to take the g function and plug it into the f function. And if it's g of f, then you're going to plug the f function into the g function. So in example 2, we're going to find f of g, g of f, f of g of 3, and g of f of 3. 
Okay, and we have our two functions again. I'm going to use the same colors, purple for S and, or purple for G and green for S. This time the color coding will be a little more helpful than it was in the last problem. So for f of g, this means I'm taking the g function and plugging it into the f function. So everywhere there's an x is where I would substitute the g function and everything else stays the same. So 2 times 4 plus x squared minus 3. So I can't do anything inside the parentheses, so I'm going to distribute the 2. So distributing the 2, I'm going to get 8 plus 2x squared minus 3. Then I'm just going to combine like terms and rewrite in a simplified form. So this will be 2x squared plus 5. So now we're going to do g of f. So this means I'm taking the f function and plugging it into the g function. So everywhere there's an x, I will put the f function. So this is going to be 4 plus 2x minus 3 all squared. Well, remember when you square a binomial, that means you're multiplying that binomial times itself. So we have to FOIL that out. So I'm going to have my 4 that's out front. When I FOIL out the binomials, you're going to get 4x squared minus 12x plus 9. Then when I combine like terms, I'm going to get 4x squared minus 12x plus 13. So now that I've found the functions f of g and g of f, I can do the last two parts of this problem by substituting a 3 in for x in both of those equations. So I'm going to substitute a 3 into the f of g function. So that would be 2 times 3 squared plus 5, which equals 23. Now I'm going to do g of f of 3, so I'm going to plug a 3 into the g of f function. So that's going to be 4 times 3 squared minus 12 times 3 plus 13. And that equals 13. 